Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Survivor Little Big Planet 11, second episode of the recap. On the last episode, we saw the girls lose the very first challenge and vote out the borderline non existent Pink Rainbows Neon. Going into round two, I started talking to some of the players about if anyone is really stepping up as a leader on either of the two teams. I think um, Nikki or Joe Wife are. I like the leaders of the group um, because they are the most active, active of, of us. And yeah, I think they, I think they do good leaders too. Um, I don't think so. I think we're just going like chickens. We're just running around in circles. In the second immunity challenge, tribes were told that they each had to create an immunity challenge of their very own. They had two and a half days to build something that used polystyrene balls in some significant manner. Submissions would be judged by the survivor staff and the staff at Little Big Planet Central. Submissions would be judged based on visual appeal, functionality, fun factor, and creativity. Up first, we have Ten Neoji's entry, made by Chat Cheeto. Yar! Welcome to another episode of Balls to the Wall! Go get your balls to the wall! First, let's go through the rules of the game, just for all the new viewers out there. And I know there are many of you, just because I'm so handsome, even with one eye. <laughs> uh, it's really quite simple. Arr! First, all the contestants will be in a cage. They'll suit up in jetpacks, the clock will count down, and then the balls will start moving to the left, towards the wall. And speaking of walls, the ones on the left and the right are made out of plasma. So if you are not a ball, you are not going through them at all. And I know what you're thinking. But Tom, what about those balls you mentioned earlier? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get to them right now. There are two kinds of balls, red and yellow. Now there, my good fellow, what you have to do is try to grab the yellow ones, because those will give you points. And that's how you win the game, by gaining points! Yarr. And what about the red ones? Well, those are just doing their thing. Just dodge them. Don't even attempt grabbing them. Because you can. It's impossible. Yarr. Depending on how long the match keeps going, there may be some interesting variations of these balls, and maybe some funky combinations! Yarr, 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 yarr. As always, we have one celebrity contestant with us, and he is going to be competing against the normal people here. This time, it's the Academy Award winning actor, Mr. Nicholas Cage. I'm tripping balls, so let's start. <laughs> Cage the Elephant is a band. But anyway, unfortunately we don't have any time to introduce normal people, so let's just get started, shall we? <laughs> let's yarr. get ready to grab some balls. It's balls to the wall! I'm soaring just like my career! Up next, we have the girls from Kurashiki talking about their creation. It was just through this uh, little bundle of ideas that we would just 
discussing as a tribe and we would just sing what sort of ideas we could mix in together. Uh, like Joe put out onto the tribe, it was with the with the bus with the baskets and you, we had the idea to use the baskets with the balls pulling down, you have to catch them as many as you can. And also be able to have different variations of balls by just by three really so it took some time in creating the like the actual like the sign of it. Logic Joe did, since I'm not good with logic, it took some time with um with the um with the other oh, what's her name? Nikki. Nikki and Joe together they both worked on the level I popped in and gave them a hand with decorating and all that stuff. And it's a voice acting film while the Tutu was making the level seal. So, yeah. I started the creation of the level in white matter with difficulty composing an actual concept. When I finally got a good level going, everybody seemed to like it. When I finished the game itself, it was a mentally exhausting experience, so I left all the decorating, music, and icon making to the others. The result was spectacular. The focus of this level is simple. Cast as many blue and yellow balls into your baskets and move them to the side compartment. The controls are the left joystick to move and R1 to dump your basket. Blue balls are worth 10 points and yellow balls are worth 50. Red balls will remove all balls in your basket. Watch out! You have two minutes to collect as many points as possible. Good luck and have fun! Tenmyoji's entry absolutely cracked me up with their cutscene. I don't usually watch cutscenes, but I watched that all the way through, and I cracked up, and I enjoyed it. And the level itself was uh, fun enough. A simple concept, grab the right balls, don't die. On the girls' side, uh, not so much with the laughs out of the gate, but the level was beautiful, functional, 
very creative and a lot of fun to play, especially in a head-to-head -head environment. The girls also uh, got bonus points for including the tribe flag they made in round one. In the end, the judges unanimously voted Kurashiki's entry as the winner of Immunity. Shotvik had a few things to say about the trouble his team experienced during the Create Challenge. Well, it's all about um people are trying to do their own thing because they're not listening because I gave that idea up. I'm like, if we split up, we make two different stages, and then everybody's like, oh, what time? And I'm like, if you just say at time, we all can work together, you know. But apparently we're, like, the whole team overall, we need communication because, honestly, we're looking like a crappy team right now. Fair enough. <laughs> and I heard you were actually working on something that didn't get submitted? Yep, I uh, actually the idea the um, um what's his name Waffle God had was exactly the same concept that I showed him, and then all of a sudden he's like, oh, I I made this, this is my idea, and I and I'm like an hour later I come home and I looked at it, whoa, it's the same concept as mine. What the fuck, dude? Like I was really upset, but I got over it. In the second round of the Prisoners Dilemma Duels. Players were allowed to choose who they wanted their opponent to be. Here are the results for round two. At the vote, Tenmyoji nearly unanimously decided to eliminate Waffle God 345 from their tribe. Waffle God had frequently clashed with other members of his tribe, and at only two rounds in, that was enough to send him packing. 